Hello guys, welcome back to Monet Loves Glam. In this video, I'm going to show you how I make quick and easy Mexican rice. When I am not doing what I love doing decorating, I really enjoy cooking, so I decided that I would add a few cooking videos for you all. So first what I did was put about one tablespoon of oil in this pan. I cut up about half of a medium onion went ahead and threw it in there and you just want to saute that until it is soft and translucent in color. Next I'm going to go ahead and add my rice. The ratio that I use is one cup of rice to two cups of water. So you can adjust this recipe uh, using that ratio if you would like to make more rice. This ratio, I would say, probably feeds about uh, five adults uh, and maybe two children. So this one cup of rice really stretches a long way and makes a pretty big pot of rice. You want to go ahead and saute this rice with the onion until your rice is a little light brown in some spots kind of like it's toasted but be careful not to go too far because you do not want to burn or scorch the rice so there I am just adding my other cup of water to my mixture and I am just getting it up to a slight boil just stirring it around a little bit and my heat is actually set at about a medium heat and I do have a gas stove so if you're like me with a gas stove I have it set at around five now I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of this Nord chicken bouillon seasoning just for some rich flavor so I usually use about a tablespoon of that go ahead and mix that in and stir it around. Now I'm just gonna add a pack of the Sazon. This really doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's really more for the color. Just use one pack of that and go ahead and stir that in. And just for a little saltiness, I'm gonna go in with some adobo seasoning. And I add about a tablespoon of that. You really wanna be careful with how much salt you use because that chicken bouillon is salty. On this particular day, I did not have any fresh garlic, so I just went ahead and added about a tablespoon of some garlic granules. And then go ahead and stir that in. Next, I'm adding 3 fourths cup of tomato sauce. You want to go ahead and stir that in. Get it really nice and well combined. And again, I still have my heat on the medium at around 5. I just want to give a quick shout out to one of my co-workers or ex-co-workers wives that gave me this recipe so shout out to Carmen I always wanted to know how to make Mexican rice and she gave me the recipe and it is awesome and I have been making it ever since so now at this point you want to go ahead and turn your heat down to a low setting I would say around the two go ahead and cover it you want to go ahead and let it boil to a slow simmer until all of the water is absorbed and your rice is tender guys this is what it looks like at the final plating if you're interested in how I made those shrimp tacos just let me know in the comment section and I will be happy to do a video on that I hope you enjoyed this recipe I hope that you try to make it 
Thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with all your family and friends. See you next time. Bye.